<coughs> right, evening all. Um, let's carry on with another uh, another blend. I just realised I've spilt something on my jeans, and I've got no idea what it is, which is slightly worrying. So, rather fancy one this one, um, and on the expensive side for a full size bottle. This was another donation from Andrew P Butler. Andrew P Butler. Andrew A P Butler. I've got a feeling on my last video I called him Andrew P Butler as well. It's Andrew A P Butler. I really must stop calling him Andrew P Butler. Um, and this is Royal Salute, which comes in a rather dinky porcelain miniature, which he has opened and had half of. So there's, I can't even hear it. Yeah, it's definitely in there. Um, which for a miniature is also unusual. I'll try and do it by my microphone. See, even got a cork as well for a miniature. Um, so the full size bottle looks like this um, and it is actually available in three different colors. There is a sapphire, an emerald and a ruby. So it's all very fancy. So this is from Shivers Brothers and if you want the, um, I was about to say in-depth history of Shivers Brothers, if you want a brief overview of the Shivers Brothers, um, then check out my Shivers Regal, uh, the Shivers Regal 12 video, which was dram number 20 in the challenge, uh, and go back to that, um, because I, I, I'm not gonna go through the history of the Shivers Brothers, um, sort of how when they started and, and all this lot. So go back, have a look at that, and then come back to this if you want to, to talk about, or if you want to talk, if you want to know about the Royal Salute. Royal Salute is a, um, essentially the, the jewel in the crown of, of the Shivers Brothers whole portfolio. Um, it was launched in uh, 1953 on the 2nd of June, which was the um, very day of Queen Elizabeth II's coronation. Um, and this was basically created in honor of her. Um, it is, uh, the Royal Salute is a 21 gun salute, and conveniently, this is a 21 year old blended whiskey. So the malt whiskies that are used within are a minimum of 21 years old, hence giving it the age statement of 21. Um, it's, the, the bottles are created by Wade Porcelain, um, and you're probably not gonna be able to pick it up, um, but if I put one of the bottles back up, um, the the sort of logo that's uh, is it embossed? It's not engraved. It's whichever way it is, um, is uh, apparently um, it, the coat of arms of Robert the Bruce. Um, now I did read also that there's Gaelic motto that reads fidelity to stability since 1801. Now it says that on the Wikipedia page. I can't see any of that on any of the the labelling packaging. So I don't know whether that's Wikipedia just talking absolute nonsense. Um, so yes, Raw Salute, you're looking at about, uh, well, you're looking at about 100 quid a bottle um, because this is like the, the super premium part of their range, uh, or Costco are selling it for 89 quid, apparently, um, which is the cheapest you're gonna find it. Um, the key component of it is actually Strathyla, um, which I'm sure I've covered in the challenge. I'm sure I have, I just can't remember when. Um, Strathyla is also, it's owned by the Shivers Brothers and it's um, it's where their visitor center is and it's as sort of famous Glouse and, famous Glouse? Famous Grouse and Glen Turret and Bells and Blair Athol, um, sort of Strathyla is like the home of Shivers, Shivers Glens and obviously Royal Salute is their pinnacle. So therefore that's quite a big deal of it as well. Um, it is also a very big, um, the brand itself is a very big sponsor of international polo tournaments. So this is the kind of market that we're looking at. Um, so, you know, 21 year old single malt whiskies. Oh, Andrew, absolutely bang on mate. Thank you very much. Um, you know, 21 year old whiskies, in terms of how many more whiskies there are, I don't know what the percentage is of malt to grain, um, and I don't know how many more whiskies are in it, but you know, we're talking 21 year old whiskies, 21 year old minimum, there's not that many of them around at that age, and there's not gonna be a lot of stock of it available either. So no wonder it's expensive, and this could potentially be something rather special. Now it's a very deep color, a very deep color indeed. Um, this is kind of like almost a burnt orange, deep amber color. Be interested to know whether color's been added to this or whether this is actually natural color from the age of the whiskies that are in there. I wouldn't be surprised if color's been added, to be perfectly honest. No, I wasn't expecting that nose. I was expecting something quite rich and sherried, and it is 
quite minty of all things and it's like a mint fondant it's a very light mint fondant it's the inside of fries chocolate creams again the mint version of that very very much so fries chocolate cream but the mint flavored it's a really soft sweet mintiness and there's also a bit of um, like hay and cut grass coming through it's really it's really light and floral although interestingly there is a depth to it as well there's a depth but it's not a, like a rich sherry feel there is a weight to the nose but it's still quite light and fresh at the same time oh man I can't, oh there's something else in there as well crap I, I just got something else there was like this mintiness and as I took my nose away something else came in which was again was kind of sweet like it was kind of like um like strawberry jelly almost yeah it's like strawberry jelly um you know like hartley's jelly cubes that you get and then you make your own jelly and you put it in the fridge so it's not a it's not an artificial sickly sweet jelly that you get in like pre-made jelly pots it's when you make jelly yourself and you probably have slightly too much water in it, so it's a bit of a lighter strawberry jelly. It's a proper candy store, this one. It really is on the nose. What an intriguing nose. I was not expecting that at all. I like that nose a lot. I really do. I'll keep it away from the kids, though, because they'll probably want to drink it. Definite influence of grain. There's a juiciness from grain coming through there. And it almost overpowers it slightly. Not too much though. Uh, yeah, 40%. But there's none of the mintness on the nose. I'm still getting it. There's not really any of the mint, there's not any of the fruitiness. It's more of a Grain is definitely there. And then there's a there's a slight heat at the back of the throat as well. And there's malt and a bit of toffee and kind of like very, very gentle sandalwood type thing going on there as well. It's not generic, it's just nowhere near as interesting as the nose is. This nose is fantastic. I absolutely love the nose on this. I think it's brilliant. There's, there's four or five different things going on at once and they're all really pleasant and slightly floral and slightly fruity and slightly like sweetie like as well. It's really evocative of like a, a traditional sweet shop. And yet on the palate, There's a little bit of heat to it. The grain whiskey is, is almost overpowering the malt whiskey flavors. It's not harsh, it's not rough. It's just, it feels like it's masking some of the flavors that would be there. And I'm not gonna add water to it because it's 40%. So it's already had water added to it. And if I put any water in, then it's not legally whiskey. So They've knocked it down to 40% and it still doesn't feel quite balanced. So they haven't really done a good job of making it because they should have done a bit more work to it to get it 40% and actually have more of the flavors underneath coming through to the fore. It's a bit of a shame really actually because that nose is so good. It's slightly citrusy, slightly sherbetty slightly free there's loads of stuff going on the nose and it's just not there on the palate the palate is just a bit generic and it's almost like they've made it for queen queen elizabeth and he said queen victoria then queen elizabeth and members of the royal family to go we've made you a whiskey have a smell of the whiskey 
oh, that's absolutely fantastic. But they don't drink whiskey. So what you've done is you've gone, oh, it smells wonderful. Oh, it smells absolutely fantastic. But then for people that don't drink whiskey, it's just a little bit generic and a bit safe on the palate for when they're actually drinking it. Because it just, it feels like two different whiskies. Nose, light, fruity, delicate, interesting, joyful, playful, really like lots going on and all good fun and a bit frolicky and just cracking on the nose. And yet, on the palate, it's just whiskey. There's not really, not really anything, and whiskey that's slightly unbalanced as well. It's such a shame, it really is. Because I could nose that all night and keep picking up different stuff. You need a glass of that and then you need to go to, I don't know if there is any, I can't remember what it's called, it's Mr. Something, Mr. Sims Sweet Shops. They're in Leeds, they seem to be dotted around Yorkshire. Um, or sweet emporiums, I'm talking Yorkshire, so you know, probably down south there'll be something completely different. But going into the, one of these traditional sweet shops where everything's lined up in jars and it's all like chocolate and chocolate, sherbet fountains, uh, bonfire toffee, all that, a bit of bonfire toffee in there as well. Uh, and, and you basically take a glass of this and you go, yeah, I've got that one. And yeah, I've got that one. And yeah, that one down there. But on the palate, it's just, It's just a blended whiskey where you can taste a bit of the grain in there and then the rest of the whisk the, the, the malt whiskies are kind of bringing just a slightly generic flavor. It's such a shame. It really is because it starts off so well, so good, that nose. Absolutely fantastic. And then it's just a big letdown. Oh, it's a shame that. Because I was really, after, after nosing that, I was really hopeful we were going to get something really special. And the nose is almost worth 90 quid a bottle. But the palate, unfortunately, isn't. So if you can get me a nose of it for about 40 quid, probably be all right. Anyway, right, that's me done. I am away tomorrow night. So um, I am slightly ahead of myself because um, I'm going to have to upload and then basically unlock it tomorrow because I'm on some work meeting overnight. We all have to go out for a meal and pretend we like each other, joy. Um, so if anybody does know of any jobs going out there, ideally within the drinks industry, because I don't work directly with drinks brands, but if anybody does know of any jobs going, ideally in the Yorkshire area, um, please do let me know because I am looking and I'm starting to look quite desperately. Um, but yes. Interesting, definitely a whiskey of two halves. I shall see you in the next one. Cheers.